What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we really need to have a chat about the prizes that are coming around for One Piece Finals. Because, well, look, there's a bunch of different prizes. We're going to talk about all of these prizes. It's going to be extremely interesting, I promise you. But we need to start off with the fact that Serial Luffy is available in the participation patient pack there are a bunch of cards available in the championship 2024 event pack you get two cards per pack one of which can literally be serial luffy now i suppose there's a tiny chance it's a mistake on the website but there's no reason to believe it's a mistake on the website there is no reason to believe that something has gone wrong here it's just weird Honestly, it's incredibly weird. And the thing is, the event pack, you get two of them for participation. Now, you also get two more for top 512, two for top 256, three for top 128, three for top 64. And then it stops there. The event pack stopped being given out at that point. But you do get more as you go along, don't get me wrong. But the idea of Serial Luffy... It's so weird because these are cards, are serial cards, right? They are generally given out for doing particularly well at an event. It depends on the event, how high you have to get up in order to get them. But we're talking big finishes at big events to get these serial cards. The chance of getting one in a pack like this is ridiculous. Now, there are nine cards available and you get two per pack. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that there is not an even chance. What we've got on the website, and again, there's no reason to believe this is anything other than true, is that there's only a thousand serial Luffy. I feel pretty confident that the pull rate for the serial Luffy is going to be very low compared to the other cards. Because when you consider how many people are going to be going to all the finals combined, and you consider all the different packs which are going to be given out, everybody is getting essentially four cards from an event pack just for entering, but there's no way that half the people turning up to these events are going to get a serial Luffy. So cross your fingers, ladies and gentlemen, cross your fingers. I don't believe the packs are searchable, so it is just going to be completely random. And bearing in mind, these are going to be big events, so they're not going to be little store level events where some nefarious folks could try and game the system. I think this is absolutely fascinating. But here's the thing. This is a participation prize. Oh my word, the tickets for the One Piece finals are going to go fast. There's one in the UK in September. Yay! I will put a link in the description so you can see where they all are. Elsewhere available in this event pack, we've got the Reaper and Monet from OP05. All but the Luffy are stamped, I should say. We've got the Trafalgar Law that was a magazine promo. The Roanoa Zoro that was a magazine promo. The Sabo that was a magazine promo. The Yamato that was a magazine promo. The Jinbei that was a magazine promo. The Kozuke Momonosuke, which was a magazine promo. And then a reprint of Trafalgar Law from Starter Deck 3. But there's a lot of magazine promos coming in here. And I know, because I've picked them all up. The other thing you get for participation is One Piece Emotion promo, the Luffy one. Although there is a note on the website, if it's a finals that is not at a card fest, it's a participation prize. But if you go to a card fest, it's given out to all visitors. You don't get a second version for competing. And this is a reprint of Promo 41 Luffy. We've actually seen this card a couple different times. It's becoming quite an iconic card. Your vanilla 10 cost, 12,000 power, counter plus 1,000, just purple Luffy. It's not the first print we've had of this card, but it doesn't mean it's not a very, very cool card. I think it's a very, very cool card. And I like the artwork. It's also called One Piece of Motion. Promo 41 Luffy, which seems to be tying in to an exhibition that they are having in Shinjuku in Tokyo starting next month. And I'm weirdly in Tokyo. I'm only there for three days, but I'm there when it starts. And I've got tickets for an hour after it opens. And I am genuinely excited. So that's going to be kind of fun. 
Now, there's also a Championship 2024 celebration pack. This is not given to everybody. This starts at top 512. You get four for top 512, and then another four for top 256, another four for top 128, another four for top 64, another four for top 32, and then that's where it finishes. But all the way from top 512 to top 32, at every stage you get four more of these celebration packs. And these are packs where you get two cards per pack, just like before. And we got a bunch of cards that might look familiar, because they are promos we've seen before, all of them. But now they've got the Championship 2024 stamp. So we got the reprint of Kozuke Momonosuke, your land of Wano Searcher. We've got a reprint of Hachan from OPO3. Kaya from OPO3, love the artwork on this one. Fukuro from OPO3, do not love the art on this one. Shirahoshi riding a shark from OPO3, or at least swimming next to it. Shura from OPO5. The promo Trafalgar Law, but the second version thereof. The Beppo, which is a promo, but again, the second version thereof. And then the Luffy Treasure Cruise promo, the Captain Kid Treasure Cruise promo, the Crocodile Treasure Cruise promo, and the Kaido Treasure Cruise promo. All stamped with Championship 2024. Now, there was also some Bonnie sleeves, which are kind of cool. As far as I can see, the Bonnie sleeves are only given out at top 128. And it seems like you get literally one. One Bonnie sleeve for top 128. That's really weird. I cannot be the only one that thinks that's incredibly weird. It is, of course, just the artwork from OPO7. So we've seen this one already. It's existing art, but now it's on a sleeve. It is the alternate art Bonnie from OPO7, the alternate art character. But, you know, now was a sleeve. Cool, I suppose. But i got to say, if they're literally only giving out 128 of these sleeves per event, trying to get a play set of 10 for your Don deck sounds like a nightmare. Trying to get a set of these for your actual deck, I mean, if you can pull it off, it's going to be one whole heck of a flex. But, um, yeah, that seems like it's going to be awkward. Now, there is also a top player pack, which is incredibly cool. And top player pack... There are six cards available, but you only get one per pack. The top player packs kick in at top 64. You get one for top 64 and two for top 32. And that's it. That's all you get. Which means no matter how well you do, you can never get more than three of these packs. And there are six cards available, all stamped with top player like this reprint of Perona which makes me genuinely sad. We've already had one trophy card Perona. Now there's another. Trying to keep a Perona collection going is turning into a bit of a nightmare. Look at this art. It's got the stamp. It's awesome. We've then got Gadatsu from OPO5, Kami from OPO6. And if we look at these three on the screen for a second, you'll notice, hey, they're all brand new artwork. Yes, yes, they are. We've then got Brooke from OPO6 with brand new artwork. Sanji from OPO7 with brand new artwork. And Drum Kingdom from OPO8, which is fun because we haven't actually seen any OPO8 cards yet. This is the first one we've seen, but with alternate art and oh my word, they're all stunning, but the Drum Kingdom is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. The, these are going to be awkward, ladies and gentlemen. These are going to be very, very, very awkward. Now, starting at top 32, we've got the event pack finalist version. You get one for top 32, one for top 16, two for top eight, two for fourth, two for third, two for second, and two for the champion. Now, what's weird about this is it's exactly the same as the event pack I showed you that you get for participating, but without a serial Luffy. The other cards are all the same. I don't know, let's just leave Yamato on the screen. And you'll notice it seems to be, I can't see any difference. The only difference is it's an eight card pack rather than a nine card pack. 
because you don't get the Luffy. Of course, when I say eight card pack, I don't mean you get eight cards. I mean you get two out of eight, which is a bit weird. Now, I have had a good look at them side by side. Here is them side by side. They're not the same card. It's weird. The participation event pack has a nice goldy championship 2024 stamp, whereas the event pack finalist version has a much worse black stamp that doesn't look shiny. They look the wrong way around to me. Uh, that's the only difference between them. They are identical other than a slightly less impressive stamp. Hey ho, they are only if you get as far enough to get the finalist version. Make it to top 16 and you get yourself a playmat with the key art on, which is obviously at this stage, we're going to be talking Egghead Island arc, which is phenomenal. I adore that. And you can get yourself a finalist set of cards, but you've got to get yourself up to top 16. You get two for top 16, two for top eight, and then two for top four onwards. But here you do actually get a set of six cards. And you'll notice they don't have top player written on, they have finalists. So they're the same as I showed you a minute ago. I'm only showing you the Perona for now. You'll notice that it's the same card, but it's got finalists on rather than top player. You also get all six rather than one at random, which makes it, frankly, quite a lot better. Now, there is also an uncut sheet, but the uncut sheet is a little bit weird because it's blatantly got leaders from OP06 and OP07, and it's got the manga rare from OP06 and OP07, and it, but it's not got all, it's got five out of six leaders, which is weird, right? I can't be the only one that find, thinks this is weird. So the uncut sheet is a little bit weird. It's got different things on there it's not all of op06 or all of op07 it's some cards from each which which i personally find a little bit weird cannot be the only one that thinks that's a little bit weird never mind but there is an uncut sheet which is available and you get yourself the uncut sheet for top eight it is a top eight prize so you get to top eight you get the uncut sheet you don't get to top eight you don't if you get further, you still only get one uncut sheet. And then we've got our first, second, and third place Yamato cards. Nominally, they're the one from OP04. They're actually a really good one from OP04. That lets you KO an opponent's character of a cost equal to or less than the total of yours and your opponent's life. And then if you've got one or less life, add a card from the top of your deck to the top of your life. It's a good card, but no one's ever going to play this. Like the whole point is they are trophy cards and they are stunning. So once again, the prizes are a little bit confusing. They tend to be for One Piece, but it's only because there's so many cool ones. I am totally okay with it, and hopefully I've led you through it quite nicely. The Yamato are absolutely stunning. The top player and finalist card set with things like Perona and Drum Kingdom are absurdly good. But the idea that we've actually got Serial Luffy in a participation pack is absolutely nutty. So there we go. I've told you all of this. I've given you all the information. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you're thinking about this. Tell me if this changes your thoughts as to whether you're going to go to these finals, how many you're going to try and make, etc. Tell me if you're worried that this is going to make it harder to sign up for them. Because having a serial Luffy potentially on offer just for participating... Oh, that is going to make some more people want to go and play. Let me know all of this in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.